Hey guys, German Prodigy here. Um, to start out, I'd like to introduce myself. Um, this is brand new for me. Um, I have posted videos on YouTube before, and of games in fact. But uh, this is kind of my first big, uh, big leap into it, I guess you would say. I'm getting a new computer here in a few weeks, so I'm using this very old, very crappy laptop to, uh, to try and get the hang of things. Um, you know, there are obviously a few things that you need to uh, progress yourself into, and I am uh, uh, really just want to, uh, want to get my new computer just really uh, hit the ground running. Um, so I'm kind of doing my baby steps here. Um, so that's the primary reason I'm playing the first Splinter Cell, which has been out forever. And, um, you know, it's not the best thing, I guess, to uh, try and get people to start viewing my channel. Because obviously not too many people are looking to, uh, to look at a Let's Play. But uh, it's the one game that uh, I felt was best to uh, start this out on. My laptop can't run too much, especially with, um, with a video uh, recording software running at the same time. It, um, I can, uh, with the, the current settings I'm playing this game on, um, I can run at about 70 frames per second. And you'll see at times where it just, um, wh while I'm uh, recording here, it just drops below 10 frames per second. Uh, I'm normally averaging about 20, so it's uh, it's pretty terrible. Um, I really wish I could do better, but uh, that's the reason I'm getting a new computer, switching over from uh, my 360, so I'm really excited about that. And um, I'm really excited to get started with this. So, um... So obviously Splinter Cell, um, I played a long time ago, I played on the Xbox of course, and um, I never actually beat it. So uh, the first time I actually came to beat this game was uh, actually in Afghanistan. Um, they had it there at the uh, the PX on the base, and um, I decided to get it because uh, I played it so many times but never actually beaten it. And um, so uh, that was my first time, and I actually beat the first three games. I uh, I started uh, Splinter Cell Double Agent, but um, I really didn't like it. Uh, not only did my uh, laptop not run it very well, but I was really um, disappointed. I didn't think they did a very good job. So um, I wanted to start out with the first one. It's uh, It's the best one for me to start out on simply because my laptop can run it somewhat. But, um, I'm really, uh, really excited to do this, and anyone who, uh, feels like leaving a comment, any helps, tips, or, uh, even criticism, uh, I can be very adult about this, and I can take ne negative criticism in a good way, and really, um, expand on that with, uh, with how I do good this. Job, um, I'm not doing this to, uh... To make money, I guess, is the reason most people would do this. I'm kind of just doing this for fun. Uh, I'm in the uh, I'm in the Marine Corps, so I already have a job. I have a family. I have a wife. I have kids and everything. This is kind of just a uh, something to do for fun for me. Um, little things. Uh, bandy cam. Right now, I'm running uh, the trial. I guess not the trial version, but the free version. So that's the reason you see a lot of transitions to where there probably shouldn't be because it has that uh a 10 minute time frame and if I don't create another video before that 10 minute time frame it completely exits out of the game brings me back to windows and I have to start all over again essentially so I didn't really want to like sit there and watch a clock, so every now and then I just made sure I stopped the video and started up a new one just to make sure that I didn't have that problem. Um, but yeah, so basically that's uh that's my introduction to uh, my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys uh like I said, if you like it, if you don't like it, you want to throw in some comments. Obviously, I'm using very basic software. I'm using Windows Movie Maker to uh, to make my video, which is, uh, it's not bad, but it's definitely not the best out there, but I don't want to focus on getting the, the best things until uh, I'm a lot more confident myself, for one, 
and you know maybe I actually have some people that actually would like to view my channel and then I could actually upgrade to something better but I don't feel like paying for things uh, especially when I'm not sure how this is gonna go but as I grow with uh, maybe popularity I guess and um, and confident in myself to be able to do this uh, it'll be a lot uh, a lot better and that's when I can actually look at actually spending money on things like this when I do get my computer I am planning on buying either fraps or bandy cam um, I'm not getting it right now for one simple reason that's probably money I'm getting my tax return soon so that's the whole reason I'm actually able to get my PC so really excited about it again um, this next door is just leave a comment down off. below let me know what you think any uh, any tips from guys of you that have done this before especially if you remember when you're starting out it's not so easy um, once you're actually you know realize that you're gonna be sitting there talking to people it's a lot different and um, there are little things like I've never liked my voice I think I sound uh, kinda stupid I guess so it's just one of those big things to just get over the uh, the hesitation you get just from um, it's just like speaking publicly I'm actually like doing this in my car right now because I don't want my wife to hear it like that's how nervous I am about it I just um, you know it's uh, getting over your fears and stuff like that and this is something I've always been really excited to do and um, so I guess for a little while I'll touch on uh, why I decided to go from playing on Xbox 360 to getting a PC. And probably the biggest thing that jump started uh, this whole thing, I always talked about it, but never really thought the process through. And uh, this is going to go back to Afghanistan. When I was in Afghanistan, I actually got, uh, I got hurt. Um, I hyperextended my knee, and for like two straight months I, I was just sitting there on base doing nothing and so I started to play video games on my laptop and um, one of the biggest problems I had was mouse and keyboard and I thought it would just be terrible to have to use a mouse and keyboard yeah you can plug in the 360 controller but why get a PC if I'm just gonna be using a 360 controller it didn't really quite make sense to me but uh, with Rainbow Six Vegas 2 I played that a lot in Afghanistan and after using the mouse and keyboard I got really familiar with it and I really started to like it and uh, things like noticing uh, better accuracy and things like that it was just uh, that really really jump started my mind when I came back from Afghanistan that kinda all went out the window I went back to play Battlefield 3 on my Xbox and kinda forgot about it and uh, just lately I really started to rethink um, because it's tax return season, I always think, you know, what do I want this year? Because I, uh, I get quite, quite a bit back for tax return. So, uh, I started thinking, what do I want this year? And, you know, I thought, how about a PC? You know, something I've always really wanted. And, uh, so that's basically where I'm at right now. Uh, about a month ago, I could not tell you what parts went to a computer or anything, and through simple YouTube and Google, I have, I, I don't want to say I've learned everything, because obviously not, especially in a month, but I, I've learned a lot, and um, I've got everything set up, I know exactly what I'm going to get, I have my little wish list, I'm just, you know, waiting for that money to hit so I can finally get it and set it up and, um, and everything else like that. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, like I said, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, okay, now, Fisher, let's bring in so yeah, I, I, I guess I'm pretty much you. done. You can enjoy the rest of the video. I do plan on um, posting the rest of this. I'm really going to shoot for one a day, but with a full-time job, with a wife, with kids, it's, it's really difficult to take the time. To not only play it, then you have to edit the video, and then now I'm recording the commentary because it's not really something I can do at the same time. I don't want to go exactly into why, but the commentary for me has to be separate. So, um, hopefully there will be uh, each uh, each level. 
will be one day. We'll have to see. This level is obviously really, really simple. It's a really quick level, and you don't really fail that many times. So hopefully I'll still be able to do it when the levels progress and get harder. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. But hopefully I can post one a day. So if you do watch this and you like it, um, there will be the rest of it coming as well. So uh, just know that. And um, this is a uh, German Prodigy, and we will catch you all next time. Have you started yet? Yes, sir. Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher. Let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes, Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. Oh.